1980s, things that are not socially acceptable today. About a week ago, we were checking out the 1970s. So today, I'm going to look forward to checking out 1980s. See what he was doing back in the 1980s that is definitely not allowed today. So going to be super interested to check this one out. Let me know if you guys are from the 1980s in the comment section and if it's true or not. Before we do jump in this, like 80% of you guys are not subscribed to the channel. It will really mean a lot if you guys can hit that subscribe button. I'm also posting extra content on my Patreon page. Link is in the description. Let's jump straight into this and see what we got. 40 years ago, things were very different. Okay. MTV was just catching on and Atari oh, was still very popular. We didn't have Hot all bud. the constant news in our face, but okay. our social media was hanging out with friends and family. Crazy. Some of the things we used to do would probably get you arrested now. Mad. Social media was hanging out with friends and family, bro. Wow. Nowadays, <laughs> just online DMs, bro. Safety standards in cars were pretty well absent. Okay. The regulations were more like mild suggestions rather than rules or laws. Oh, really? Nobody wore seat belts, and many people just wondered why they were even there. What? As a kid, you could sit in the middle of the bench seat up front and control the radio. If you wanted to see over the I'll tall dash, now. then you could just simply stand up. Heck, Dad may have even placed you in his lap so you could help him steer the car. Man! Yo, so you're telling me in the 90s, bro, I could be driving my car, and I see someone in the car, and I'm seeing some kid driving, bro? What? <laughs> It was also common to see kids just packed in the back of a station wagon or maybe in the bed of a pickup truck. Yo, imagine that now. Car seats were available for purchase, but rarely would you ever see one in a car. <laughs> Wait, where do you put the baby then? We well, just laid him down in the back. If your car was packed with kids, then it was usually easier just to leave them in the car and then go into the grocery store and shop. Oh, wow. Most people just left the windows rolled down and the kids would be just fine. Wow. Kids were very active, and it wasn't uncommon just to tell your parents you were going outside to play, and then you would disappear for most of the day, if not all of it. Your parents nowadays will be terrified if they can't, like, you know, be in touch with their kids. It was always easy to tell where all the neighborhood kids were just by glancing at someone's yard and seeing the collection of bicycles. Oh, okay. If th th that when I was a kid, we kind of did this a little bit. If that wasn't seen, then most of the kids would knock on their friend's door to see if they were home and if they wanted to come out and play. Right, yep. If you we went did that around a bit. riding bikes, then you certainly didn't wear a helmet. Most people couldn't even see these in stores to buy. And if you. Yo, I ain't gonna lie, I don't think I've ever worn a helmet in my life. <laughs> I don't think I've ever worn one. If you could, they wouldn't have even wanted them. Yeah, Same true. thing with elbow pads and knee pads. Most kids just thought it was cool to show off your latest injury or skill. Wait, do people actually wear them nowadays? Like elbow pads and knee pads? Do they, do they actually wear them? Is that a thing? Knee pads. I thought I was just professional biking. Most kids just thought it was cool to show off your latest injury or skin knee. Ugh. If you happen to be too far from home too late, then no problem. Find one of the pay phones that were all over the place. And if you didn't have change, then that wasn't a problem either. How comes? Your parents knew when they got the collect call. You have a collect call from. I'm at the community center. Do you accept charges? Oh, wait, yo. So you could call for free and then the parents were set. Yo, that's actually a neat device. Is that. That's not a thing now, though, is it? Bro, that's actually a pretty cool device. Well, everyone's got mobiles now if they go out, so they, they, they don't need it. Your mom and dad would just come and pick you up and load up the bikes if you had them. Otherwise, your parents just expected you to be home by the time the street lights came on. Right. Smoking was still very big, and parents smoked in the home and in the car with kids still in it. Secondhand smoke was just something that everyone had to live with, and most people weren't worried about exposing it to kids. Right, okay, didn't realize. It wasn't uncommon to see people just smoking away in restaurants, and most of them probably didn't even have smoking sections. Wait, 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 wait. Okay, so I never experienced this, right? So, like, you're telling me you'll go to a restaurant or whatever, and, like, it could just be foggy, just, like, full of smoke? Yo. Things were so different back then that there were cigarette machines in front of some stores and restaurants. No ID oh, check wow. or anything. Just insert the quarters and pull the knob. It the was also a time check. when kids would run to the convenience store and pick up some essentials. 
Sometimes those essentials were cigarettes, and all we Crazy. needed was a note from mom or dad Crazy. and a blank check. Yo, 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 imagine that now, bro. Kids would just be writing their own notes and just get... Yo, do you know what's the difference, though, right? Nowadays, kids would write their own notes and get themselves cigarettes. I feel like back in the 1980s, the kids would discipline more, so they would be terrified to do that. Do you, does that make sense? Do you know what I'm saying? So in that case, the parents could trust the kids, be like, yo, get me the cigarettes, blah, 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 right? Come back, right? Boom. Nowadays, kids work, bro. They ain't disciplined that much. So I'm not saying all kids, but like, they would just be writing their own notes. They don't care, bro. They don't care. Considering how most people were about smoking, it's not surprising that alcohol would be much different. Right. Alcohol wasn't something that kids enjoyed, but I'm sure many tasted it just to see what it was like when parents <laughs> offered it. Being no a way. latchkey kid was perfectly fine. A what? Parents were busy working and doing other things, so it was quite common to see kids at home by themselves or watching younger siblings until they got home. Yo, wait, isn't that like illegal now? Can't you be in trouble for that? Parents just thought if kids were old enough to dial the important numbers or 911, they okay. were responsible enough to be at home alone. Wow. Yo, that's Physical crazy. Physical punishment was also something that was viewed very differently. This is what I'm saying, bro. Like, I'm telling you, because of, like, the discipline and stuff, kids back in the 1980s, bro, they ain't doing anything to try and, you know, get the punishment from parents. So, like, yo, if they go into the store... And they gotta get some cigarettes, bro. They're not, you know, you know what I'm saying? It makes sense, bro. They don't want to, they don't want to bat. <laughs> Paddling or swats from parents, family, or teachers was considered completely reasonable if the kids misbehaved or were disrespectful. Yeah, mad. Punishment was usually swift and painful. Yo, I gotta lie, bro. I gotta lie. Right? Listen, we've all got our opinions. But I think, bro, that kids, like some kids need to be disciplined like this bro like you know when i was in school i wasn't that good of a kid if they had this system in place i'm telling you bro i do all my homework on time i'll be well behaved i'll be smart as hell <laughs> i'm telling you bro it worked it worked like i know it would never happen now uh because parents will get mad nowadays but yeah yeah it worked bro it worked you can't say you didn't Peanut allergies certainly were around back then, but kids still brought peanut butter sandwiches and peanut products to school. Oh, man, every mouth for themselves. Peanut and other <laughs> allergy bans weren't a thing. EpiPens didn't hit the market until 1987, oh, so if you had an allergy, you just had to hope you didn't die. If you were a teenager in the 1980s, then... Wait, I know a lot of people's got peanut allergies, right? Comment down below how, like, if you was around the 1980s... How, what, what was like your procedure with like people with like peanut butter and jelly sandwiches? Stuff like that. Oh my God, I'm turning America. Jelly. Peanut butter and jam sandwiches. Oh my God, I can't believe I just said that. <laughs> what? <laughs> peanut butter and jam sandwiches, bro. What, what was you guys like with that? If you had allergies and stuff, if you can't really like do anything to help, you just, you just like fucking just run away from them? Hi. If you were a teenager in the 1980s, then you didn't have Instagram or Snapchat. Okay. Your social media was hanging out at the mall with your friends. You could do a little shopping, eating, and a whole lot of hanging out. Parents okay. would allow their kids to roam the mall by themselves for hours. Kids may still go Funky. to the mall today, but not quite as much. True. If they hang out there all day now, they might accuse you of loitering. <laughs> Probably. Chicken pox parties were something that many people had long before there was a vaccine. What? Most people felt it was best just to get chicken pox out of the way so you wouldn't have to worry about it later. Wait, 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 this was a fake? This was a fake? So if someone had chicken pox, you have a pie say everyone got chicken pox? Wait, but isn't that smart though? Because aren't they more dangerous if you don't get them as a kid and you get them as an adult? Aren't they more dangerous? So it's smart to get them as a kid. I, I don't know, bro. I don't know. I don't know. If one kid started showing That's signs, smart. then it was time to gather every other kid who <laughs> hadn't gotten it for a good old-fashioned party. Yo, hey, kid. Come on. We're going to your, your get your ass ill, man. Come on. Come on. Come to this party. The PG-13 rating didn't exist until July 1st, 1984. And prior to okay. that, they got away with a lot more. 
people realized that there was a huge gap between PG and R. Right. If you take a look back at the movie Airplane, which was PG, you'll understand how wide this gap was. The movie was filled with a lot of adult humor in it, and it even showed some nudity. Oh, yo! On August 10th, 1984, the action film Red Dawn starring Patrick Swayze and Charlie Sheen became the first ever PG-13 movie to be released in theaters. Over the last 40 years, there have been many changes. Not just in technology, but in oh, regulations on what we can and cannot oh, do. Oh, yeah! Most Jesus. of the younger generations do not realize how many changes have taken place during the 80s and... Wait, is this sadness? Wait, no, that can't be right, bro. That, 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 that's not 65 cents for a Big Mac. No, that can't be right, bro. That's not right. That's not right. That can't be right, bro. The younger Ain't generations no do not realize how many Ain't changes no have taken place during the 80s and have continued to do so. I hope you enjoyed this little walk down memory lane. Thank you so much for watching. Yo, I wasn't even, you know, around in the 1980s, bro. And like, I'm, I'm even enjoying it. You know what I'm saying? I kind of want to experience it, bro. I'd love to, like, go there to experience it for a few months and then come back because I like my technology. Do you know what I'm saying? I need my technology, otherwise I wouldn't be here. Do you know what I mean? But... Why don't you come up here, pumpkin? What are you doing, Larry? Well, Vince, I've asked my pumpkin to sit on my lap. Oh, this is freaking. And what is that, your larry -ness? Even if we fasten our safety belts, even if you hold on tight, even if you were watching the road... Yeah. No! Oh no, not the pumpkin. You could learn a lot from a dummy. You could learn a lot from a dummy. Use child safety seats. We love that little pumpkin to pieces. Okay, Joey, it's a wrap. Hi, I'm Joey Lawrence if you need a break. After I'm done here, I get a- I swear I've seen this kid. Who is this kid? Hi, I'm Joey Lawrence if you need a break. I swear After I've I'm seen done him. here, I get a ride home. But the thing is, I will only get into a car with someone who wears their seatbelt. You see, kids like me usually do what the driver does. If they don't buckle, we don't buckle. Sounds pretty dumb, huh? Huh? But it happens, just like accidents. Give a kid a break. Buckle up. <clears throat> your life and theirs is in your hands. Okay, cheers, kid. Knock it down. This is an advert for smoking. Oh my god, it's getting better house down. It's getting better house down. What is going on? I'm so confused. Oh, they don't like you. You're smoking too much. I think it's an American Cancer Society, right? Don't be a dragon lady. Okay, yeah, yeah okay. So it's an advert to tell you to stop dragging the smoke, man. No, but the people don't want it, you know what I mean? But that was good. I enjoyed that. 19 years. Really, really different time. It seems really cool, honestly. Growing up in the 1980s just seems so different to that. Well, it is very different. You guys definitely gotta let me know what you think in the comment section. I know a lot of you guys was growing up around the 1980s, so I'd be really interested to see, like, your experiences and stuff. And if you guys got any, like, pictures and stuff from the 1980s, send them to me on Instagram, L3WG underscore. I would love to check some out. Great video. I hope Hopefully you guys enjoyed. If you did, make sure to give a thumbs up, subscribe for more content. I'm live every single day on twitch.tv forward slash L3WG. If you guys want to check me out over there, I'll see you all in the next one. Peace.